Ralph Goodale is also reviewing the immigration detention centers where those refugees may end up if their claims are denied. An especially desperate situation for those who have children. A new report says hundreds of young boys and girls, including some born in this country, spend time in those facilities every year. CTV's Peter Ackman has the details. This is the image Canada projects to the world. There you go. When it comes to the treatment of refugees and immigrants, especially children. But for hundreds of kids, this is where they're being held. It feels like a prison. It has a concrete feel with barbed wire all around you and bars on, on, the, on the windows. A new study looking into internal documents from Canada Border Services shows at any one time at least 290 children are being kept in immigration holding centres. 48 of them are born in Canada, held in this Toronto facility because their parents have been detained. Like prison, the children are searched regularly, allowed outside only an hour a day and are never alone. We've seen that children um, develop depression, anxiety, um, they develop selective mutism. The alternative for Canadian-born children is just as detrimental, say researchers, splitting the family and putting them in foster care. We know from countries that use, that overuse family detention to an extreme with horrific consequences, just what those consequences are. The children most severely affected, teenage boys caught traveling alone. Researchers say most are kept in solitary confinement. In some cases, as I've explained to you, can go on for weeks or months, but it's, it's very damaging to them. For its part, the government says it's investing $138 million, upgrading and improving detention centres. We're moving in the right direction. My objective is to uh, reduce the, uh, the number of children in, in detention to virtually zero. To reduce the numbers, immigration lawyers say the government needs to do away with birthright citizenship. And having a child in Canada is a positive factor for an avenue to permanent residency. While the goal is to remove all children from detention centres, most immigration lawyers predict this summer those numbers will actually go up as warmer weather encourages asylum seekers from the United States. Lisa. Peter Ackman with a new disturbing reality.